What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, yes, we went to the Slumbering Wield. That was the whole thing. I know many of you guys wanted a little bit more, but hey, 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 hey. We're trying to get the nitty-gritty out of the way, that way we can actually do something right here. So, here we go, let's go straight and uh, talk to our mom, because apparently if we don't say goodbye, mom's gonna ground us from, well, from here, Postwick. So, there's Mama, and my Mama is finally meeting Bex, and she's like, Fa! Well now, isn't Score Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered me to tell me. Uh, off to Westchurch, uh, West aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something uh, at the Pokemon Center, maybe some potions or something. Remember, that Scorbunny will battle to you, uh, will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing it, uh, poor, uh, pushing the poor deer too hard. Eh, okay, well, I, I do what I want, but okay. And, well, let's see, and you, Scorbunny, look after my little Draven. Seriously, trying to embarrass me right here when I'm trying to be the big boy? Come home and rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is the best. That is a good one. That is a very, very good one. Anywho, okay, so let us continue on our adventure right here, guys. Okay, so, yes, we are doing Pokemon Sword again, and we're only doing Pokemon Sword, okay? The last episode, I did explain that, you know, we're finally using the materials, uh, the items that we have invested in, so we can actually, you know, make this walkthrough a little bit better. You know, gaming computer, Elgato H60, or HD60 uh, S+. Plus. Uh, the studio, yes, we're we're making this, uh, you know, 4K. We're making this HD background edited. The you know the you know what the bees knees right here. Here we go. This is quite a big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the uh, to the building with the purple roof and great red big ball. Or red and white ball, huh? Mark out in the front. That's uh, that's the Pokemon Research Lab. Hmm. I think we should go into. Uh, I think we should go in there. And well, look at that. Like we can't go. We can't go through here because you got the Swoolus, uh, or not the Swoolus, but the the Wooloos. Yeah, blocking the way. I will destroy all of you. So I guess we're gonna have to go through here, and as you can see, there are Pokemon roaming around right here. So we're gonna just like walk away and get attacked by one of these Pokemon. And would you look at that? A Blip Bug. Blip Bug looks pretty awesome. All right, Blip Bug, let's do this. Tackle attack for the win. Now, what kind of team am I looking into when it comes to this this Pokemon game? Uh, I am still going with the whole native Pokemon kind of thing. Uh, I want to try out, like, for my main team, I want to try out, uh, the native Pokemon right here in the Galar region. Now, the funny, fun the funny part about this game, too, is that we can incorporate lots, and I mean lots of Pokemon, guys. Lots of rare Pokemon, which we will. Um, there will be some appearances from, uh, you know, Pokemon from other teams. As soon as I train them up and get them over here, oh yes, we're gonna be using them. And look at that, our very first Pokemon capture, and that is Blipbug. Blipbug is looking pretty cool right there. I like saying that name, Blipbug. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna give it a nickname because I don't intend on using it. And well, let's go straight to the party. All right, Blipbug, let's move on right here. And look at this, we got ourselves a potion, which is also great. And what do we do right here? Oh look, there's two more Pokemon, and there's a Pokemon that I may or may not want to capture. Let's go right ahead and uh, bug it. Okay, alrighty. So as you can see guys, this is a Rookity. A Rookity is their native Pokemon, and it eventually evolves into a pretty cool looking Pokemon. I just need to remember the nickname I gave it. Uh, yeah. So let's roast it. Let's go. Ember attack right here. And Ember attack did a pretty good uh, job right there. So here comes a peg attack. Holy crud. Okay, let's go throw a Pokeball right here. Alrighty. Pokeball, go. There it is. There it is. Come on. Stay in the ball. 
stay in the god dang ball. Yes. Whew, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. So, that's another Pokemon, and yes, we are getting experience points from every single Pokemon. Bex learned Quick Attack, which is great. And, well, here we have a new Pokemon, a Rookie D, and the thing is... I forgot the guy's nickname, so uh, excuse me just a little bit while I nickname this Pokemon. Okay, so here we are, guys. I completely forgot about this Pokemon name, as many of you guys would know. I'm very forgetful, so say hello to Shadow Blade. And uh, let's hope that we actually keep this Pokemon in our team and all that stuff. I don't know. I'm thinking of a native team. I'm thinking of something pretty cool, but it pretty, you know... Pretty badass, and uh, well, let's see. you know, nicknames are not really well, nicknames are not my forte, but yeah, Shadow Blade is a pretty good one right there. So, say hello to Shadow Blade. Eventually, it evolves into a steel and steel and flying type Pokemon. And well, we're gonna go after one more Pokemon right here, and that is this guy, Wooloo. Now, another big thing about this walkthrough is that there are going to be a lot of edits. Um, because, well, you know, we're, we're trying to focus onto the main game rather than just, uh, you know, we're, we're focusing on the main game and not the least important things out of this whole thing right here, guys, if you guys catch my drift. Um, right now, you're just going to be seeing me capture some Pokemon, but then once we get into the Pokemon area, there are going to be a lot of, uh, there's going to be a lot of edits in that area. I'm not really going to show a lot of the Pokemon that... You know, you can actually capture in that in that one spot, except for those that, you know, except for those that, you know, are going to be making it onto my team, or that, you know, I'm going to be using around this whole thing right here. So, look at this. We got ourselves a Wooloo. And, well, we got more experience points, and look at that. Our Pokemon are growing levels, so I might as well just grow them. And Shadow Blade just grew, or just learned uh, Power Trip, which I don't know what it is. I'm not going to nickname this guy. And yes, it's going to be added to our team. And well, let's just continue on right here. So look at this, more Pokemon. And that guy is desperately wants me to capture this this Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and grab those two Paralysis heals, which is great. And let's go ahead and capture this guy. A Squovit, I believe that's what it's named. Yes, Squovit. Now, Squovit is a very greedy Pokemon. If we had a Pokedex, it would actually tell you that, you know, it is a very, very greedy Pokemon. So there we go. Quick attack. Does a something. Here comes a bite attack. And that right there hits it pretty hard. So let's go again and let's go straight for an Ember attack right here. So here we go. Ember attack. Nearly beats it, but here comes the bite attack. Holy crud. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Now, we, I, I believe we always start off with five Pokeballs in this version right here. So... That's also pretty pretty darn good right there. And would you look at that. Another Pokemon caught. Yes. The capturing never ends. Okay, so more experience points for all our Pokemon. And, well, yes. Another Pokemon caught. And, yes, we're not going to do anything about that. So let's just go right ahead and move on now. I think I caught most of the Pokemon that uh, can be offered right here in this general location. And bam, we get the heck out of there. And here we are in Wedgehurst finally. And would you look at that, the ultimate Charizard. How you doing there, buddy? The ultimate Charizard. Okay, so our biggest thing is that we actually have to go straight to the Pokemon Center. Not the Pokemon Center, but we actually have to go right here into the professor's lab because, they, yeah, we there, there is something that we need to pick up. So talk to Leon, and he's going to be like, well done! You reached the goal and managed to find a Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far, uh, far sight better than I, I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown? All thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure I'm glad that I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now go in. Yes, we're going in. Alrighty. Let's do this. Where? Oh, where? Oh, look, the lab is looking pretty nice. Probably one of the best looking labs, and Leon's like, I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bork! Hmm. Bork? Oh, would you look at that? A Yamper. I think that's what it's named. Yamper. Look at that. Look at that booty. What is it today, Leon? And 
Well, hello, hello. Looking for uh, looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? We should stop these outlandish requests. I am just looking at her and I'm like, that is my future wife. Well, hello there. The women of Galar. You gotta love them. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that uh, that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food that you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget that we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out, or helping you out, it, I did too. Well, I bet you did. Look at her. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Draven. He's new. Po he's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, won't you? Hmm. Look at that Yamper. Look at that Yamper. Look at the booty on that Yamper. He's got a booty. That's right. And, well, Sonya's like... <sighs> What does he think I am? He, he's, al he's always got his uh, head on the, in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, it looks like you've got the Rotom on, uh, a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Oh, dang. Rotom just came out. Zzzr. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a, and a navigation tool. That, uh, that said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Yes, I do. I do know a lot because, uh, yeah, I'm like a 14-time champion or something. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use that Pokedex on your Rotom phone. And look at that. We got ourselves a Pokedex, which is great. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my my gran. Wait, who's your gran? Could you let my let gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down uh, Route 2. Oh, her grandma. Yeah, I completely forgot that this generation does not like to complete their words and all that stuff like Gran or Unk or something like that. It is what it is, guys. Uh, hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means that you got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. And look at that. We get ourselves a potion, which is great. And it's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP hits their point, uh, hit po or their hit points get low. HP is like the Pokemon's stamina. You can use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk about to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Okay, alrighty. That 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 sounds pretty dang good. Okay, so let us move on right here. And I think, oh look at that. Uh, Hop is waiting for us right over there. And got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention uh, what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got the Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Draven. Bet you've never seen one inside. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so... What are we doing in here? Level with me, Draven. Is this your first time in the Pokemon Center? Not really. Crap baskets, I did not want to press that. The future, uh, then the future champions got you covered. Crud. First things first, you talk, uh, you talk to the lady at the counter if you want your Pokemon healed up. And Pokemon you catch are kept in computers like this one you find here, see? After all, you can see or you can only bring six Pokemon with you on the road in your party. And well, the potions they sell at the Pokemart got me out uh, got, got me out of a real tough spot the other day. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good though. I'm headed to round two, Draven. Come and find me and maybe when you're uh, done here huh cocky little guy cocky little guy okay so here we are in the Pokemon Center now here's something cool about Pokemon centers in Galar you talk to this individual right here hold on talk to this guy and well he can actually do three things for you and it's pretty darn awesome that way you don't have to go you know traveling around to find the, the, the certain individual 
But this guy can actually rate your nickname. You can actually nickname a Pokemon. You can remember a move, or you can forget a move. This is very, very useful, and I'm going to be talking to this guy a lot. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right here. All right, so here we are in the Pokemart, and uh, let's see what you can actually buy. So, technically, he doesn't sell us any Pokeballs just yet, so I'm going to... Hmm. Let's see. Revives? Let's go with five, because I have a feeling we're going to have some fun right there. Uh, antidotes. Let's go with three. Yes, good old Draven likes to spend his money wherever he goes. Awakenings. I have a feeling I'm going to be falling asleep just a bit. And paralysis heals. You gotta love them because good old Draven gets paralyzed a lot. Okay, so now another cool thing about this too is you can actually go into the PC, check the boxes, and it's going to tell you what you have right here. Now, I'm actually gonna put Blitbug bag because we don't necessarily well we don't we we don't need this Pokemon. But then again, you know what? I'm gonna keep these Pokemon on my team for just the time being because we got some stuff to take care of let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon gotta love it and look at this the first healing process look at that it's pretty awesome okay alrighty thanks for waiting score buddy and the rest of your team are all better now hope we see you again yes we will okay so let's get the heck out of here and let us move on what is next okay so as you can see, there are stores right here. One of them being a store where you can actually buy some uh, some clothes. Unfortunately, we do not have any uh, a lot a lot of money. And well, if you go right here, you'll find yourself a Poke doll, which in the beginning it's a very very useful item. So just remember have just remember Poke dolls, guys. Uh, now, as you can see, Hop is waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and talk to Hop right here. Listen, Draven, if you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand in the gym challenge, right? Uh, yes, the gym challenge. The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to be take part. And Lee doesn't seem to be, uh, seem to think I'm up to snuff. And see, uh, oh, so I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if I could, if she could help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just a, a, a thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger, after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is uh, way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head uh, head there and give our teams a chance to train up a little along the way. So, let's go. Alright, so let's go right ahead and, you know, get our Pokemon trained up. Now, I think there was an item right here that I, I, I may have gotten before. Let's see. Give me an item, guy. Uh, let's see, Sonya and Leon used to be, he okay, healthy rivalry, that's pretty cool. Uh, talk to this individual, yes, okay, so, there was nothing right here. I was really hoping for, like, some kind of, like, food or something like that. So, let's go right ahead and, you know, get to straight, uh, get, get to route number two right here. So we can get to the professor's lab, and, well, look at that, route two. You're gonna be able to find some interesting Pokemon, and, of course, Hop is right here. He's like, over here, Draven! <sighs> All right, Draven. It's time we filled in our, our, our teams a bit. And, wow, the other guy is like, I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Only, only look at you, little Draven. You've already caught some of your own. Your mom gave me those, uh, gave you those Pokeballs, did she? Yes, she did. I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask you to catch plenty of Pokemon. Pokemon around here seem to e seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join tra some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? And look at that, we get 20 Pokeballs. 20! 20. 20 Pokeballs. The Pokemon you, you and your Pokemon will get experience points when you catch a Pokemon too. And of course, they get experience points from battle. So take, in, uh, take on other trainers you meet along the uh, the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as they get stronger together, no doubt. But even uh, even I don't know exactly how yet. So uh, show cha show your champion something good, all right? Okay, alrighty. And well, Hop's like, all right, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon, and the po professor will be shocked when she sees or what she sees. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're going to be going 
straight. And just like that, these Pokemon just appear out of nowhere. And, well, there are two Pokemon that I... Oh, three Pokemon that I actually want to capture right here. And, well... Let's see. Let's let this Pokemon attack me right here. So, as you can see, guys, here is a Zigzag Goon. Now, the only reason I would ever want to capture this Pokemon is because how it looks. If you guys don't know, Zigzagoon right here is, or, you know, Galarian Zigzagoon is inspired through the band Kiss, which is freaking awesome. I'm a little bit of a Kiss fan myself. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And, well, I kind of want to use, I kind of want to use this Pokemon for just a little bit. Try and get it to evolve into, well, I kind of I want it to evolve into its final form. And Crud. Yeah. Okay, so... Made it faint. That was not cool. And well, we get our Pokemon to grow levels right here. So, I guess I guess that's a that's a big big thing right here. So let's see. Let's go right ahead and move on. And well, there are two other Pokemon right here that you can actually capture. And oh wow, a Rookity. You gotta love a Rookity. Okay. So let's run away. Oh no, no no no, run away, run away. Mhm. Mm Okay, so let us move on right here. Now, let's see. I'm not trying to skip all the Pokemon right here, but there are some trainers. And this guy is looking at me funny, so I think I should just punch him in the face or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and battle him. And he's like, It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. What if I didn't look at you? I'm just saying. Okay, so here we go. Take it on Youngster Jake, and he is going to be coming out with a Squovit. And, well, here comes Bex. And, well, let's go right ahead and use an Ember attack right here. So, hmm. There was something about this. If there was something about this, it is that, you know, throughout the walkthrough right here, guys, we're going to be changing up Pokemon here and there. Uh, there. There are, like, a handful of Pokemon that I kind of want to try out to see what my ultimate team would be. I said this in the last episode that, yes, I will be bringing along Pokemon that I've used in the past. Pokemon that are allowed into this game right here, uh, to say the least. You know, kind of like Sir Razor, you know, Godzilla, Godzilla. And look at that Blip Bug, Gruul levels. Look at that Shadow Blade, level 6. This guy is not happy. Not happy whatsoever. Okay. Let us move on. And, oh, wow. That Pokemon is about to bite me, but... Again, I really want to capture, I really, 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 really would like to capture a Zigzagoon. And the trainer tips right here, Pokemon can gain experience points by battling other Pokemon. Experience points can now help him grow. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab this. And yes, we have found ourselves two potions, which is also freaking, uh, freaking great right here. And well, let's see. Pokemon. You got to love the Pokemon. And let's go ahead and grab this right here. We found ourselves three more Pokeballs. So, yeah, we're going to be battling. We're going to be Pokemon around here. So let's just let's go ahead and battle and then take care of the capture of the Pokemon later on. Like I said, guys, there's going to be a lot of editing in this walkthrough just because, well, we don't want to make this whole thing uh, lengthy like I did in the other walkthrough right here. Okay. So, we're taking on a Choodle. Choodle's a pretty good Pokemon right here, guys. And I have my eye on one. Now, the only reason why I haven't gotten a Choodle just yet is because you, know, you, you guys already know how I am when it comes to Pokeballs. I like to I like to switch or I like to capture Pokemon in different Pokeballs, different teams, and all that crud. And well, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna be waiting until uh, until then because there is a location where you can actually buy different kinds of Pokeballs. And right now, I'm yeah, Bex is not doing his uh. He's not doing his best right now because, well, yeah, bold nature, low physical attack. And just like that, we have defeated these guys. And we're getting more experience and more leveling up. And, well, Lauren, she's not happy. Okay. So, in that case, let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and restore this Pokemon right here because, uh, yeah, we don't want to faint. There we go. And well, let's get the let's let's get the rolling right here now. There is one more trainer that we actually have to battle, 
So let's go right ahead and have this guy battle right here. He's like, I could be hot, but I'm gonna beat you. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Taking on youngster Benjamin right here. And Benjamin coming out with a blip bug. You gotta love that blip bug right here. And, well, let's go straight for Bex right here. And the good thing about Blip Bug for us is that it is weak against Fire-type Pokemon. So there we go. Ember Attack does its trick right there. So you gotta love that. Okay, so that's one down and more experience points to go. Look at that. Wulu grew to level 6. And, well, let's see. He's about to come out with a Nikit. I do not remember. Oh, yeah, I don't know what a Nikit is. Ha! Huh. It's that Pokemon right there. Kind of looks like a smug version of uh, the Hound and the Fox right there. And here comes a quick attack. Hitting us pretty good. Here we go. And, well, let's go again with another Ember attack right here. So, Ember attack does its trick and almost beats this guy. So here comes a Wiggle Waggle attack. It's not really a Wiggle Waggle, but, you know, here we go. Another one. And quick attack right here. So yeah, we do have quick attack, so we, we we could, you know, probably use that. And bam. Defeat Nikit. Nikit. And there we go. We have defeated youngster Benjamin. Yes, he is not happy right here. Alright, let's move on. Now there are quite a few Pokemon you can actually find right here. There is a Pokemon Arena. And well, there might be a Pokeball here somewhere. Not really. Uh, there's a uh, hop as always waiting for us so let's go ahead and talk to him look there's a professor so have you unraveled all the the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet oh goodness no the whole thing is still full of questions I hope that my granddaughter would take over my research but huh look at this dear me I'm sorry I didn't notice uh I didn't even notice my guess hmm Look at her, she's so frail, she's so cute. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Yeah, she is, she's definitely, there's something pleasant about her. I, I just don't know what it is. Okay, so here we are, Professor Magnolia. Why, Hop, dear, I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be Draven. I trust you received a Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. That is right. I will have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Draven? Not really. Kinda. Maybe. Professor Magnolia has been doing some research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about it too, you know. Like how many types of uh, tea there are. Hey, Professor. Do us a favor, would you? Let me convince Lee that he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Draven just only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads that they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought that your dream was to have everyone in Gala region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon. In fact... Oh wow, he's turning Super Saiyan again, and right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure the both both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Okay, here we go. He's gonna give us, uh, he's gonna heal us up. Look at that with his magic hand. And right, I'll be waiting outside, Draven. Man, this guy really thinks he can beat me. I live rent free in his head. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, before we battle this guy, let's go right behind here, okay? There is a little something that we can actually get into this area, and would you look at that? It's a golden Pokeball, not the GS ball, and it is the TM7 or 57. And the user stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the target, this attack power will be doubled, which is great. So just remember that. Just remember that. Find that right there. So let us move on right here uh let's see there should be something right here that we can actually oh there's a pokeball right there so before we battle hop let's just you know take our time we don't really need to battle him and look at that we found ourselves a great ball fantastic okay so let's go right ahead and uh well battle oh look at this 
we found ourselves a bottle of fresh water. You see that, guys? You know, take your time. You don't really need to, like, yeah, yeah, go after a hop right away. So, hurry it up, Draven. You've got to battle me so I can prove my, or so I can get myself that endorsement. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're going to, yes, these hands are rated E for everyone, so let's go. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you've got so we can prove to Lee that we've got everything that it takes. Okay, of course. Sure, why not? Okay, alrighty. So what do we got? I'm rather interested in uh, seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle that I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. Okay, whatever you say. It's time for my legend to begin. Okay, so I thought your legend began like a few uh, few episodes ago. But yeah, okay, whatever. Whatever you say, homeboy. And here we are taking on Hop yet again. And he's going to be coming out with a Wooloo right here. And, well, let's go straight for the Bex. That's right. <laughs> you got a bit stronger. Me and my team will put, the t put you to the test and see. Okay. Yeah, we kind of got a little bit stronger, but here we go with an Ember attack. Try to fry this little lamb. And, uh, well, that's half its HP, but here comes a Tackle attack. And that really doesn't do much. So here we go. Ember attack for the win. And look at that. Wulu has been defeated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have defeated him. And more experience points for all our Pokemon. That's great. Shadow Blade has learned Home Claws and Squovit. You know, learning everything. And here comes Grookey. So let's just continue on our onslaught right here. Mm hmm. Grookey, seriously. Not the best Pokemon for this, for this situation right here. So there we go, guys. Another Ember attack. And this it was well, not that strong, but yes. <laughs> wow. Like, he really thinks less of us just because, you know, he thinks that we're learning, like, we're barely learning match types. That's kind of, that's kind of sad right there. So, there we go. Garuki has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. And, yes, we got more leveling up to do right here. And what else is next? Oh, Rookie D. I don't have a Pokemon yet for that guy. So, yes, it's like, it'll be a close one. And it's exactly my sort of match. Okay, so your sort of match is getting your butt kicked by me. That's pretty much what it is. So let's go right ahead and let's see. Let's go straight for the Ember Attack right here. And Ember Attack. Can it do it? It almost did it. And here comes the Peck Attack. Holy crud. Holy crud basket. So here we go again. Another Ember Attack. And just like that, we have defeated Rookie D and Hop. Yes. We have defeated Hop, and well, Shadow Blade is growing to level 9, so now our Pokemon are getting a little stronger right there. Yes, we gutted you, we defeated you, how does that supposed to feel? And I even got my Pokeball Throw Perfect too! The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the uh, two of us uh, getting stronger, right? Yeah, the thing is that I've been undefeated in this thing. And, well, after defeating Hop, Leon's gonna look at us both and he's like, Draven, Hop! Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've, uh, I've, I've little choice to, but to give you the endorsement as the champion. And, well, what the hell? What is he getting? Okay, yeah, he's giving us the letter of endorsement. And is a letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. Hmm. You may both be uh, be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it will be a proper battle. Charizard and I will uh, were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. Hump, you've always tended to get caught up in the things like how you throw a Pokeball and out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but... It seems like you've really grown a bit, little brother. Well, at least somebody calls him out. That's pretty hilarious right there. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Draven. All right, Draven. You and me are going to train up against uh, one another to aim for the champion's title. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. 
The more we keep battling against one another, the more uh, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? And just like that, look at that shooting star. I wish Hop would be less annoying. I wonder if that will work. And well, what did he get? Draven, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. And ironically enough, we have two stars, which is pretty good. And, well, let's see. A stone found in the Gala region with mysterious power. It is said that your dreams will come true if you find one. My dream is for this man to just, or this kid, to be less annoying. But, you know, to each his own. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes! Hmm. Hmm. Trust you pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have true wish in their heart. You know? I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Well, you kind of said it out loud, so it's probably not going to work out that way. Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have in the Gala region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them a give them to me, and I'll have you. I'll have you sorted. All right. Then. Oh, all right. You've uh, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Draven and me the power of Dynamax our, our Pokemon. First, we got a battle against Mad Pokemon in the Slumbering Wheel, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's journey. That is true. Tomorrow's journey is going to be freaking fantastic and well, hello there. Oh my god, look at her. Since I came back, uh, came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've told I've been totally obsessed by making some of these trendy curries. Okay, alrighty. So uh, the trendy curries, pretty awesome, fantastic. And look at that—we are all healed up. That is fantastic. Okay, so well, hello there. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning for you, young challengers. Hop, is it true that you really met some po some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about? Uh, well, there was a weird heavy fog, and then this uh, even weirder Pokemon appeared. Draven tried to fight it off, but then I think the both uh, the both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. Uh, a ripe fount of information you are. Draven, Hop, these are for you. And well, let's see, what are we getting right here? Okay, look at that. We can't see it, but look at that. Yes, we get our communicators from Professor Magnolia. Yes, we are going to be talking to Zordon himself. A wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to, to Dynamax when a powers when it's at a power spot. Okay, all right. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting your wishing stars you found last night in, in those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like one of Lee's, uh, one, the one that Lee has on him. Or the, the one that Lee has on him, too. My bad, guys. Now that we can Dynamax our Pokemon like uh, like his. My word. Don't you waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it that it's not as simple as that. There are a number of conditions you must meet in if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on a gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go on all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help your Pokedex too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. You can't. Yeah. Okay. I'm not even gonna go through this. Come on, Draven. I'll beat you in this. I'll beat you to the station. Okay. So we got our Pokedexes. We got everything. We're gonna pause right here, guys. Uh, it's been 40 god long minutes. Okay. In the next episode, yes, we are gonna be going somewhere pretty special. It is uh, probably one of the best places in the world, and that's probably the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Field or whatever it's called. Hold on, let's go ahead and go to the maps right here. Okay, so the next place we're gonna have to be going to is the Western uh, Station, and we're gonna be going right here. See that? We're gonna be going right there. 
Uh, let's see, the meetup spot, rolling fields, Axew's eye, you know, all of this. Okay, so yes, we're going to be going there, if I can remember the name. So, thank you guys again for watching. Um, yes, subscribe. Hit the notifications buttons, you know, that whole thing. And if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, it would be much appreciated. The link is down on the description below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go to the Wesher Station. See you guys.